Welcome back to Vlogmas. Y'all, I am tired. Like, I am tired. Um, today is another day of our Basel this evening. So I'm just really trying to wake up and get myself together. It's already 11 o'clock and I'm still just in this bed. Like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Like, we probably, I probably didn't go to bed till like 3. So I'm just like chat so right now i'm trying to get something to eat and then i want to take a walk um i really want to run but like i just have no energy but i still want to just get outside and move around and you know get a little something something in me so i am going to take a walk after i eat um but any minute now i'm going to get up and go get some moringa tea and make me a nice fresh batch of moringa tea and enjoy that before i eat and all the things so just trying to pull it together <laughs> random moment but i just want to show you guys um the construction that um my boyfriend's cousin is doing in his place because it's kind of cool um so this space right here used to be the garage um it used to exit out right there um but they've obviously put up a wall and two windows and now he's creating like a separate master space back master suite back here so I just find it's really cool. Like that's gonna be the bathroom back there, closet space over there, the whole, you know, room. And then over here is gonna be another closet. Um, and then this is the door to the new garage that he's building outside, which I'll show you guys. So yeah, I think it's just really cool. Like I think construction in general is really cool. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm an AutoCAD drafter now. So I've just been so like, intrigued and mesmerized by everything construction because it's like for me like i love being able to like draw out and build out things on computer but when i think about the fact that people actually like put that work in real life that's like crazy to me and i just i'm just so intrigued by it but anyway let me show you guys like out here so this is gonna be the new garage space and yeah i think i showed you guys already like back around their backyard um he has like a bunch of like plants different herbs different fruits veggie well not veggies no veggies just fruits herbs things like that i'm actually coming out here to grab some moringa um i need a fresh batch for my morning tea um and it's like we've been picking it so much Sorry, I had a notification. We've been picking it so much that now all the leaves that I would like to get are like really high. And I'm little people. Ooh. So let me pick this real quick, you guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I've got my Moringa tea. It's on the stove boiling. And now we wait. Um, I ordered a sub from Jersey Mike's and it came in like literally two seconds. Like I thought I had time to make my tea drink my tea before it got here because it wasn't supposed to be here till 12 and it's 11 48 and it's actually already been here for like 10 minutes <laughs> so i was like very surprised by that but it's fine i'll still just let it sit there until i'm until i have my tea i really want to drink some tea first. um also you guys i was telling you guys about like the construction and stuff going on here because um i recognize in um, another vlog that you guys have already seen by now you'll see like a bunch of stuff in the background like a bunch of like slabs of um drywall as well as just like kind of like just stuff just stuff everywhere but it's because the house is like a construction zone right now like there's just a lot of construction going on between um this room and then the garage so everything is just kind of scattered um, within the main space of the house. So, you know, if you guys are seeing stuff in the background, don't mind it. You know, people are normal. People are people. We are humans. You know, we have mess. We have, <laughs> like, even right here behind me, I think there's was in the vlog as well. Like, 
there's construction going on like the wires are hanging out and you know like this is normal natural things you guys so yeah um just wanted to address that in case anybody's wondering like what in the world is going on around there um so yeah oh my who's in the backyard somebody's mowing the lawn so we are about to have this tea eat my food go for a walk hopefully let the sun kind of revive me a little bit <laughs> i want to um come back i need to do research on something and then I also want to edit another vlog because I just want to stay ahead of the game. Ahead of the game. Edit another vlog. And then from there, it's pretty much just going to be like getting ready to go um, because we have somewhere to be for six o'clock. So we have to leave here by um, like four, four thirty at the latest. We got to leave here. Um, just to make sure we escape any traffic on the way to Miami. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the agenda for me. You guys aren't going to see much of me. I'll show my walk and everything like that, but you're not going to see much of me after that until um, we're out and about. So, Yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. One thing I'm going to do is show y'all me eating good. Because I ain't been able to do this for a long time, so. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to eat whatever I want, okay? Well, not whatever I want. But almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. We're good now. Mm, 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 mm. And my tea. Like a good shot. Whip, but it, whip, got it, got on it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No. When you're taking a walk, so I've run around this neighborhood several times, and when you're taking a walk, you kind of recognize all the things you don't pay attention to when you're running. <laughs> Like, there's a fountain right here. I never saw it. <laughs> there's a water fountain right there. So cute. There's like all these beautiful houses around here. Like, wow, this house is nice, big. The lawn looks clean. And I never really pay attention to them. <laughs> when I'm running, I'm just like in the zone. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice neighborhood. Definitely suburbia. Um, not in Kansas anymore um but yeah it's really really cute around here like I could see moving here raising a family type of thing but at the same time I'm a city girl at heart and I think like doing stuff like living in the suburbs is kind of difficult for me <laughs> because it's just a little too quiet like listen nothing <laughs> I hate that for me so yeah I I like Miami more so like we're I'm in Fort Lauderdale I gotta keep letting you guys know where I am because I'm not always sure if I mention it or not but I'm in Fort Lauderdale and it's a lot more like quiet and like there's a woman riding a bike with her dog like how cute right <laughs> but in general it's just super quiet here um and um, it seems like a neighborhood where, like everybody knows everybody and things like that. And everybody's really nice. Like when I when I pass people in the street and stuff, you know, people say hello and you know things like that. But I don't need I need peace, but I don't need so much peace. <laughs> you know what? To be honest, I would prefer living on a plot of a large plot of land by myself. Like not by myself, but like me and my man. Um, and having our own land and all of that and being far away from our neighbors than to live in a place like this. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, even though I'm saying like I'm a city girl and whatever, like, I don't know. For me, like that just feels like a better vibe. Like 
I'd rather just have my own land. I would rather have like a little river or something like that. Be able to plant my garden and, you know, just do little things around my land. And then if I need to see somebody, you know, hop in my car and go see whoever I need to see. But to just have like your neighbor is pretty much right on top of you. And then it's like super quiet still. It's weird. <laughs> Like there's no kids playing in the street or anything. Like even when, um, so I grew up in Plainfield, New Jersey for a large portion of my life. And even there, people would often like play, like the kids would play in the street, like play basketball, like bring their basketball courts off of the driveway or out of their backyards and put it into the middle of the street and play basketball. Or, you know, when I was a kid, we were always outside, like roller skating or something, skateboarding, whatever, like, I mean, I know times are different because a lot of kids don't appreciate the outdoors anymore. You know, a lot of kids want to play on their Nintendo Switches or watch TV all day, um, you know, things like that, and be more so engulfed in their phones and social media. Um, but yeah, it just, but like, if you go to like Jamaica or something, you still see kids playing outside, so. I guess it's all relative depending on where you are where you live and you know what you have going on in your life but um, yeah just give me my plot of land separate <laughs> but still like separate from people but also still close to a city like environment so that we're not too far off we can still like drive into the city like five ten minutes and hang out if we want to you know so i'm headed back i almost passed the block <laughs> I forgot I was going back. I thought I was going to do another loop. Um, I'm headed back into the house now. I feel like something is like biting my freaking toe. Might be something in my shoe. Um, yeah, rambling, rambling, rambling. But uh, yeah, it's very cute, very beautiful. It's just not, not the vibe I'm, I'm looking for personally. I want more of the more of the Miami vibe because within in Miami it's more city it's more people outside walking around or you know there's more like shops and things close by like although there are like shopping plazas and stuff near here you still have to pretty much drive to get there and I find that extremely annoying um I want to be able to walk like if it's a 10 minute walk that's fine with me. I will take that little 10 minute walk, go do what I have to do and come back. I don't like to get in a car for every single little thing. Like, that's irritating as hell. All right, I'm gonna go because now this freaking garbage, garbage truck is um, literally driving along with me and I'm sure it's loud. So I'll chat with y'all a little later. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. I'm a touch sky. Back when they thought pink polos are. Yeah, we already just got to the premiere event. I'm about to walk in. Hey, Jody, you're the music. Hold on, good to see you. What's up, Raji? What's up, baby? Filming. Good. We're about to get ready to start. Hi, hi. Me as an artist. When another artist crosses his arm, it means I was able to sum up. All right, guys, first event down. <laughs> you can't hang. She's over there. I want to go to sleep. And you know, I'm just getting started. I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. guys. So we're about to go get some food. I think hopefully. I'm gonna say hopefully it's last get night. Ready, get ready. Get ready. This last night. Too. We did find food, but it took a while. <laughs> um. And you got energy for the Hard Rock tomorrow? Cause we we rolling tomorrow. We rolling tonight. Seems to be mild because certain people didn't come in town. Mm -hmm. So we just on a little mild track. Be, I mean, what choice do I have? And it might be heavy tonight. <laughs> what choice know, do I have? But to have the yet, energy. And I'm not working tomorrow, so I haven't even begun yet. All right, so I'll hit you guys back a little bit later.
Okay. You coming? Old fashioned soap and water. What I'm about to do. I don't know. What are you talking about? Hey, 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 hey. What is that, chicken? I might even go crazy on a piece of chicken. Yeah, the pesto. Get some of this. Back in the crib, headed to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.